Hello, this is Mighty Owl. I'm sure you've heard that science is all around us. But have you heard that science starts in the home? Could even be in your kitchen right now. Just take a look at your refrigerator door. You probably have a variety of magnets, as memories from trips, or as gifts from friends and relatives. Hmm, interesting. How do these beautiful images stay stuck to your fridge without falling off? If you ever try putting them on the kitchen cabinet door, well, that just doesn't work. Magnets have a special power to be able to produce a magnetic field and attract other metals. What a cool power! But what's also interesting is that magnets create this magnetic field only for other metals, not just any object. For example, if you spread some paper clips, rubber bands, seeds, and small pieces of paper on the table, and then you move a magnet closer to them, what do you think will happen? The only objects that the magnet will attract will be the metal paper clips, because they are made of iron. Did you see that the magnet didn't even need to touch any of the metal objects? The ability to attract objects made of iron without even touching them is called magnetism. It works all the time, even over a distance. But the closer the objects are to the magnet, the stronger the magnetic force is. This is why your magnets stay on the refrigerator door and don't fall off. Now, what do you think would happen if you had two magnets that were attracted to each other? You may have seen something like this before. Two magnets can get stuck together and it is really hard to pull them apart. This is because the closer two magnets are to each other, the stronger the magnetic pull. But once you separate the magnets, pulling them apart becomes much easier. Take a look at this magnet. All magnets have a north and a south pole. The N that you see here shows the north pole of the magnet. The S shows the south pole. Those magnetic poles are so important because they have special powers. They are the strongest parts of the magnet. These strong parts of the magnet can attract and pull other items, north pole to south pole. But the opposite happens when two south poles or two north poles come close. They repel each other and push each other away. That's really important here. Different poles pull each other closer. And similar poles push each other away. You're probably curious what a magnet is and, and where the whole magic of it comes from. Magnets are made of metals that have been exposed to a very strong magnetic field. A magnetic field is the area around the magnet. That magnetic field creates the north-south pattern and magnetizes the metal. That's how the two poles, the North Pole and the South Pole, are created. If you go near Earth's geographical North and South Pole, that's where our planet's magnetic pulling force is the strongest. And that's why a compass needle is always attracted to Earth's North Pole. It acts like a rotating magnet that points to the North all the time. In fact, you may not only see magnets on the refrigerator or in a compass. We use them in different ways very often. If you're wondering what exactly I mean, well, they're used to make a tight seal of your refrigerator door. And they're also part of your computer or your cell phone. They power the speakers and your earphones and television. Your parents might not be able to make a payment with their credit cards if the magnetic strip on the back of the card is worn out. And magnets are also used in medicine for complicated machines like magnetic resonance imaging, or MRIs, which doctors use to see inside their patients' bodies. Do you recycle? Well, a giant magnet is used to separate the iron pieces from the glass and paper pieces in recycling factories, or in mines when they're extracting and separating iron from the earth. All right, let's review what we've learned. The ability to attract objects made of iron is called magnetism. And maybe you've noticed that magnets are different from other forces. They don't need anything pushing or pulling to make them work. The area around the magnet is called a magnetic field. And this field has forces that can attract or repel other magnets or metal objects. The magnetic field is what makes magnets strong. All magnets have a north and a south pole. Same poles repel each other and opposite poles attract each other. It's a fascinating topic.
Just continue watching our video lessons and you'll see how magnets and other forces are part of our everyday life. See you soon.